Good people, this is Mike E with Humbling Humanity. Day 30 on this challenge is moving it right along. <clears throat> I want to thank y'all for rocking with me, staying focused. Let's stay, let's let's keep it going, let's keep it pushing. Y'all can still get down with this uh this 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 month right here. Get in, get your 30-day challenge on, let's knock it out the park. Yesterday was a tough day for me. I worked through my, my grief, my anger, all that good stuff. I processed it and I'm, I'm here still again. You know, I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna surrender nor retreat because this is a goal that I set out for me. Yes, me, Mike E. And uh, we gonna keep it going, man. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in the business of quitting on myself. You know what I'm saying? When you love yourself and you want better for yourself, you truly want it, you're not quitting on yourself, you understand? Like your loved one, you ain't gonna quit on them. If you really down for somebody and you love them and they ain't doing nothing necessarily at home, you ain't gonna quit on them. So why would you quit on yourself? Put that same energy and focus into yourself and not quit on yourself, you did. But uh, yeah, I got a powerful little message, speech, you know, inspirational uh, motivation thing going on at the end. I think it's gonna really touch some hearts today. So y'all stay tuned to the end of this video. Let's get it in. We're going to go right into it. I'm going to use the ball, the uh, push ups today. We're just going to get straight into it. We're going to get into high card push ups. I just want to remind you, comparisons is the killer of joy. When you compare yourself to other people and worry about what they got, you are less focused on how you can execute your goals, how you can push your life in the right direction. I'm gonna get this next five minutes now.
Second set down. Let's get to these archer push ups. Even harder. Do the push ups. Get this right here. Because you got to keep it from swiveling. So you're holding your core to keep your body steady. And when I hold it, I'm pressing on it to my slide. And I'm going to one arm from the next. So I have to apply pressure, but not enough to where it will tip over and slide. It's another level of focus. All right. <clears throat> we'll get into the down push-ups. By the way, if you have any questions for me, uh, things that you're dealing with and you want to share, please drop them in the comments. I will definitely get to them and address them. <clears throat> the goal is to help raise the conscious level of every person that I meet. Yeah. 
And just like that, day 30, it's in the bag. Now, what I have for you is this. <clears throat> I did the slow push-ups last to show you. If you slow down and take your time and focus on what it is that you're doing, you will gain more results. Wise man told me, one of the greatest men I know personally told me, if you slow down, you will go a lot faster. 
Meaning, if you take the time, sacrifice the focus and energy <clears throat> to do it right, intricately, and profoundly the first time, I don't know if that was the word I was quite looking for, but hey, I used it. You will have a better outcome. <clears throat> Meaning your muscle memory will have it down. You will gain that focus level up under your belt. These are things you can't go by in the store. You will gain that focus. You will gain the, the mental fortitude to know how to push past your hurt. You will, you, you will gain that level of stick with itness. You know what I'm saying? I might have to get that copyrighted, but stick with itness. You know what I mean? Like, no matter what happens, you know why you're doing this. Because you love yourself enough to say, hey, I can't quit on me. You know, and that's what I was, that's what I was going through. My muscles was hurting. I just ran over a mile. I did the staff stepper thing over a mile. I did my push-ups after working 12 hours. I want this for me. I don't want this for you. You see the videos that I do every day because I'm showing you that if a kid from the ghetto of Houston, Texas, Fifth Ward, Houston, Texas can do it, <laughs> I don't see why you can't do it. I don't see people in worse off conditions than that made it. All of the great people that you see that's glorified on the television, they went through something. You might not know what it is, but they went through something. They put in work somewhere. Somebody pushed them to their, to, 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 to achieve their goals. I'm pushing you now. Will you do it? Will you take the step? Will you make the commitment? Will you push past your hurt? Will you slow down so you can move a lot faster? Will you value quality over quantity? Will you? Just because everything shines don't mean it's, it's gold. It could be glitter. It could be fool's gold. But we want the stuff that's now. The right now gratification, self-gratification and glorifying the stuff that's right now. What about that stuff that you can never buy with that? What about that stuff? Patience, kindness, mental toughness, stick with itness. I'm telling you, that's, that's something that's gonna catch. But will you? Will you make that choice in your life? I made the choice in mine. And every day, I can't say it's been a, a pretty day, but it's been a blessed one. Facts. Because God grant me the strength that I need to make it through each day. Every day. This is Mike E. With Humbling Humanity. I want you to know today from the bottom of my heart. I love you and I'm proud of you. I'm helping humanity heal. For real. While staying humble. Let's go my people. Day 30 in the bag.